Fallout 4 Quests. Main Quests. Prologue Fallout 4 Quests. Main Quests. Prologue The main story begins on October 23, 2077 within the Soul Survivor's pre-war home in Sanctuary Hills, just minutes before the Great War. Icon name locations given by reward form ID editor ID war never changes Sanctuary Hills, pre-war. Vault 111, pre-war. Vault 111 Jumpsuit 001 Ed 86 MQ 101 Fallout 4 Quests. Main Quests. Act 1 Act 1 begins when the sole survivor awakens in the year 2287, approximately 210 years after entering their cryopod in Vault 111. Icon name locations given by reward form ID editor ID out of time vault 111 Sanctuary Hills Concord 200 plus SP Pipa 3000 Mark 1 Codsworthus Companion 0001 CC2 MQ 100 to duel on the Commonwealth Diamond City Mama Marva Mar on Trashcom Carla 150 plus XP 229 5 MQ 103 Unlikely Valentine Park Street Station Vault 114 Ellie Perkins or you can go straight from Vault 111 to Park Street Station. This is the farthest you can skip ahead in the main quest line. 200 plus XP 100 bottle caps worn fedora faded trench coat 0001 F25 EMQ 104 getting a clue Diamond City Nick Valentine 200 plus XP Nick Valentine as a companion 000229 E6 MQ 105 reunions Fort Hagen Nick Valentine 250 plus XP Kellogg's Pistol Kellogg's outfit. 000229E7 MQ106 Fallout 4 Quests Main Quests Act 2 The beginning of Act 2 is heralded by the arrival of the Pridewind, opening up the majority of the Brotherhood of Steel Quests. Icon name locations given by reward form ID editor ID Dangerous Minds Memory Dean Kellogg's Memories Nick Valentine 300 plus XP Piper as a companion, if not already recruited. 000229E9 MQ202 The Glowing Sea Crater of Adam Edge of the Glowing Sea Rocky Cave Dr. Amari 350 plus XP 0006B500 MQ204 Hunter Hunted CIT Ruins Green Tech Genetics Rocky Cave Virgil 350 plus XP 000229 EB MQ205 The molecular level place selected by the player to build the teleporter railroad HQ Rocky Cave 400 plus XP 000B1752 MQ2 6 institutionalized the Institute Father 400 plus XP uh, and throughout the Commonwealth become friendly optional all 229 ZMQ207 Fallout 4 quests main quests Act 3 Act 3 begins when the sole survivor acquires the ability to fast travel to and from the institute at the end of institutionalized. At this point, the main quest structure splits into four different branches, one for each of the four main factions. Certain events in those factions' quests can make other factions hostile to the sole survivor, thus locking them from those branches and failing all of that faction's ongoing quests. In some situations, this can be delayed, or even accelerated, with certain actions or certain dialogue choices. Should the player character decide to oppose the Institute by supporting any of the other three factions, the main quest ends with the nuclear option quest. There are actually three variants of the same quest, one for each faction opposing the Institute. However, should the sole survivor join and support the Institute, the main quest ends with the nuclear family quest. The following quests become available after completing institutionalized, Synth Retention, the Institute branch, starts automatically. From within, Brotherhood of Steel branch, given by Elder Maxon if the player character completed Show No Mercy, or was already given if they used the Brotherhood of Steel to advance in the molecular level. Inside Job, the Minutemen branch, given by Sturgis if the player character completed Old Guns, or was already given if they used the Minutemen to advance in the molecular level. Underground Undercover, the Railroad branch, given by Desdemona if the player character joined the railroad by completing the tradecraft quest, or was already given if they used the railroad to advance in the molecular level.